Hello. Today, I'm here to talk to you and tell you how to install the Throne Isles, Thrones Isles mod pack that we'll be using on our server. Now, of course, this was made by me, put together at least. And I'm going to show you how this is going to work. So, when you first um, when you first download, you'll get a file like this. Download description will be in the, will be in the description. You'll get a, fi a file that looks like this inside it. Thrown Isles. You'll copy that onto your desktop, which I have already done. You will then go to your start menu. Go to run. Type in app data er, percent app data percent. Press OK. Double click on Minecraft. You will then open the config folder and then open your Throne Isles and the config folder there. You then select all of these, copy them over, paste them, select, copy and replace, and do this for all the next. 47 conflicts and go. Now you can see that a lot of mods are installed here that have been put in. And oh, you'll then go back out, open your mods folder, go to the throne aisles, open the mods folder, and copy all this in, doing the same thing as you did for the config. Now I've already done that. And then we will go to Minecraft, start it up, and ho um, hopefully you all have Forge installed. I'll make another video for that. But you will go to Forge, make sure it says 1.6.4 Forge, and press play. Now this will take a while, quite a long time in fact, so I'll cut to them. Okay, so now that we are there, let me just make this full screen. You will go to single player. I have a world installed already, but if you make a new world, you will want to make it creative most likely, unless you plan on making it survival. Doesn't really matter, I'm going to do creative, call it whatever you want world something world some some I don't know um Biomes of Plenty is installed so you can make it that type if you want that causes a lot of lag though sometimes so I'm just going to go with a default world for this but if you want to make sure that it works you could also do this press create new world it says converting world building new terrain and I'll cut to when it's finally in. Okay, so this is where I am. I do have Optifine installed, so you do not see the water animation it's because I turned that off to reduce lag. But before opening your inventory, I do suggest waiting a little bit of time just for the world to load. Make sure that it's loaded all the mods properly. You might even want to go have a little explore first. Especially but this is only for creative, then you can open it and it won't crash. That is one problem, that's just a problem with it. And you can see here I've spawned in a very large red wood biome. Now, you will have to set up a bunch of the controls. We have better sprinting on, so you can uh, have a button just like in 1.7.2 to run. You also have, I have set the control to end, but we have Opus, and you can press it twice to get this, and then you can always turn it up back off if you find it causes too much lag. And yeah, you're free to roam around, explore. And that's about all. 
the there are many mods installed here I can just quickly browse through them starting from the back we have Mistcraft we have Galacticraft with Mars and Moon you also uh, po it's also possible to make space stations um, so you have like cryogenic chambers and stuff here then we have our agriculture, which is basically just another food mod. Most of the stuff is useless. Add gelatin. So you might not be so happy about that. You can burn your food though. We have Thomic Tinker and Thomcraft, although this is not with it. We have Tinker's Construct. We have Bibliocraft in many different forms. We have Chisel, adding a bunch of different blocks for aesthetic purposes, including like an obsidian snake headstone which looks pretty cool we have tinkers construct we have natura adding a bunch of different words and my favorite bit which is doors we have computer craft we have better barrels like I said, we have Natura. We also have Buildcraft. We have Harvestcraft, Pam's Harvestcraft, Open Blocks, which adds hang gliders. Pretty cool. T uh, Carpenter's Blocks, which is also pretty nice for aesthetics. We have two furniture mods, because in jammy furniture you can actually sit down on the sofas, whereas right now Mr. Crayfish is uh, sofas and whatnot else, you cannot actually sit in them. We have thermal expansion, we have thumbcraft, we have aquaculture, which adds a bunch of new fish types and stuff. You also have Neptunium armor, uh, admin fishing rod. You also have, you can have a chance of opening, tr uh, finding treasure chests when you go fishing. And then we have a couple, uh, other mods that you won't see in the folders. We have ender storage, we have iron chests, we have um, more mistcraft stuff here. We also have statues and craft heraldry. I'm just going to show you what that does quickly because some people might not know. Basically you get a heraldric scroll, scroll and you select a interesting heraldic symbol like this crow dive here then you can turn this into a red sky let's say and make a green bird and when you're done you would then either make a wall or standing banner let's just get a standing one you right click and then you right click on it and there you go you have your own heraldric stuff showing that it's your land we also have more food from Tinker's Construct we have some tools here like a chisel hammer we have invar tools we also have flat signs installed so if we get a sign and you shift click either on the ground and say hi, hey, something, or if you go like this, you can shift click here and say hello. So there you go, that's another one. And of course we then have uh, uh, thermal expansion stuff, a bunch of more enchants, potions as usual. We also have more things there. And that's about it. Should be working. We also added dragon mounts, which Nyaka and I will be planning on are planning on doing a mod pack series just explaining how everything works. How what you can do with them some examples and stuff. 
Oh, the red. We would have added tree capitators, except that there's one problem. What if you attack down that thing? It'd probably crash the game. So. That's it. That's all. And goodbye.